Hello my friends, this is Gladys from Gladys Garden in Heart of a Gypsy. Thanks for stopping by. Today I have a um, project that I'd like to share with you. And this is my DT project or designing team entry project for Tsunami Rose Designs. And this is using her, I, I believe it's her new uh, printable um, journal kit. And it's called Mechanical Arrow error um, this paper line I don't have all of them printed out because I've already used them on my paper and my ink got very low on my um, um, I didn't have a lot of ink to begin with so if I print some more to show you it'll just they, they won't look proper but I do have some extras from my work and this is some of the ones that you can print out <clears throat> from her she's got about eight pages different pages and I decided to use them and I wanted to use the whole thing for a book. She asked me to make a book or an album or, you know, like a mini album. And I wanted to use all the elements that she has incorporated into this line. And it's just beautiful. I, I told her when she made it, this is just right up my alley. It's, it's, um, it's very mechanical looking and that's why she named it Mechanical Error. And I think it just suits... Um, you know the the papers uh, the, the name to it I didn't want to make it steampunk that's why I'm not naming this a steampunk book actually I didn't even have a name for it it's gonna be some mechanical something once I load up the video I will be able to think of a name <clears throat> but I wanted to show you some of the you know elements from it and um, <clears throat> I used a pattern that I've already done before uh, for um, a class, two classes that I had that I taught on this, one in the valley and one here in my local craft store. And this is my Gateful album. But I wanted to do a little bit of a twist to it. So I did a little twist to make it suit the paper. Um, but at the same time, it kind of varies, the, you know, it's the same elements or the same technique per se and I do have this tutorial for sale on my Etsy so if you want to go and buy the papers from her low download the papers from her and then buy the tutorial you'll be able to create this if this is what you like so I'll start with the front it is a gate for a fold um, mini album because it folds this way so it's you know this way and then you close it and because of the name mechanical mechanical error I wanted to use a lot of things and you know the gears obviously but I didn't want the gears to take over and say steampunk I didn't want that I wanted just purely to be mechanical which is kind of an oxymoron because really well that mechanical error started at the same time so anyways hopefully you'll get my you know my threat and my uh, train of thought here so what I did on the front here to decorate, I use uh, the Tim Holtz um, on the edge die, and let me just see if I can get it here before dumping everything else. And this is it's called Steampunk, and you know it has the three, uh, it has the large, the medium, the small, and the medium. And what I did, I cut it both ways, so you end up with this element that looks like this so it has oh, let me just move this there you go so you can see the gears on this side and then this are so they're kind of working together you know that's that's the illusion that I wanted to create with that and then I knew that I wanted a different type of closure I wanted something mechanical again that would work I use the Tim Holtz um, <clears throat> I don't know what you call this ones but they're the they're like a little, you know, saying or name little plates that has some wordings and encourage. This one says, encourage your hopes, not your fears. And then the other one says, uh, live is live in the moment. So it just kind of pulls this way. You can go all around it and then bring it up. And then I put one of those little tie things in here. So if I want to close it, it just closes like this. And I thought that was really fun. All these little gears that you see, uh, they're made out of resin that I made. And then I obviously I painted them so they can look more metal-like. All right, so let's open up the book. Uh, the edges of the two gates, they will close. I also use the same, you know, die cut by Tim Holtz so they can match up. And you open it this way. 
And I know a lot of people, when they open this book, when they made it, they want to go one at a time this way. Don't worry about it. You know, it's not a, not a whole issue. I say open just one side, but I'll show you what it looks like when you close it. It's very, very pretty. And at the end of this little, you know, information, I will, or this video, I will give you a lot of nice pictures so you can look at. So as it opens up this way. And uh, <clears throat> I use a method of folding the page and then I put a big envelope in between them so they're all stuck to each other that way so that's how you make your your um, you know your pages so it is a one two three four five it's a ten page um, album but it's loaded with places to put you know pictures and that's what I wanted to do because our space here is not very big this is child uh, six and by twelve so it's wide enough but not very tall but I wanted to make sure that I use my you know four by six pictures or or even the what are those like uh, I think it's four by five or something like that I'll show you a couple of them so I didn't want it just to be this kind of pictures I wanted bigger pictures so I made all kinds of um uh, little areas to put you know like tags that I've made these are tags that come with a paper which is an amazing line um, all these little things that you see are from the papers I utilize all of it it was just just a lot of fun put a little paper here this is another little thing that comes with it and then lots of little positive sayings and you know encouraging words and everything so I just put them everywhere and then this is another pocket right here so there's a, a place for a tag you can do some journaling you can do another picture and journaling at the same time in here so everything that you see on one side you're going to have on the other one and as we open the first one this envelope that we have in here it's a it, it holds a huge um, tag that you can put lots of pictures in it and also journaling or stamping pretty much anything you want to I didn't load it up with pictures yet because I didn't want to put my personal pictures yet for the video uh, so these ones are not really mounted and they're just kind of stuck there until I put my own in there and there's more tags so there's a pocket into the envelope and then there's a pocket in between the envelope and then this uh, page right here and then you have another pocket in here to put more stuff so that's how it is as you go along so and I kind of try to match the the pages a little bit with this you know subtle um, variations this little trim that I use in here I used uh, let me show you this is a I think is um, the EK um, punch that's the one I use and I use the same paper that I use to cut my envelopes and by the way I do have this envelope size because it's kind of an odd size so I have them on my Etsy and I can cut them I think I have them in this color but you pretty much can request any color and I'll and I'll put uh, the most uh, requested there and you get 10 envelopes that I do I cannot remember the prices I know it's loaded up already because we do require uh, 10 envelopes for this one but in the tutorial you'll you'll have all the videos I don't like to do a lot of tutorials with a lot of writing things I I'm a video person okay so I'll do a tutorial and videos and that's what you get uh, but <clears throat> so in uh, during the videos you'll get obviously measurements and you always get um, instructions from start to finish so each page is going to be like that you have what you have on one side you have on the other one we have our tag that comes out from the big envelope you have another tag that pulls out and I was trying to utilize the theme colors from this um, printable journal kit that uh, is the pinks and some of the reds and blacks and browns um, all the metal colors but I wanted to make it as she made it she put a lot of flowers into it so she was able to combine all those things so good job Daisy you did really good all right so you know and then pockets in here these are all part of the collection let's see everything that you see except for the pictures are part of the collection so this is how gorgeous this is and again you pull this out there's another big tag 
let's see on this other one same thing and then you have your tag here to put pictures and you can i mean you can load up these pockets with pictures and anywhere i mean there's just so so much room for it and it's a really fun book to make um and not difficult just you know you know several steps but you know like everything else requires some thinking but it's done you have my videos if you want to do it that way but i think this um i wanted to do something that i hadn't done before but then i really like this style book and actually i don't even own one right now other than this one uh, because um, when I've made them they've been for samples at the stores where I've been you know I was teaching um, and then the other ones that I have for sale they've been gone you know for a long time I had three that I thought I was gonna keep two of them um, and no one person bought them all so they're gone uh, but this one per se is also going to be on my Etsy um, you know for sale and I'll put it in a couple of days I'll put it up in there so it just keeps opening this way and you can still see all the beautiful paper ephemera that she's got in here then I'll give you a little tip right now as to how to flip it open when you're so you don't have to be fumble in front of people when you're trying to show your your album so let's just say that you have your album this way you know it's closed so you just go ahead and open it so if it's easy just to fold them like this old one and then the other one fine I kind of like to interlock them and then when I'm going to open my book I just kind of open the whole thing and divide them and that way I just only I open only one side of the book so I, I don't have to be fumbling with this one falling over as I'm trying to show this side you know I show one side and then I go to the other one or however really you like to do it but 10 pages right here and it's pretty big so but you'll have my tutorial also that you know so you can make this album and I do hope you like the paper I think it's an amazing paper it took me a while to get an inspiration because I wanted to like I said do something a little different but not so so different and then I thought no you know I really like this and you know with an opening like this I thought well I need to have something that is kind of gateful this way because I knew I thought of this type of closing from the beginning I wanted to have this done and this ones are just done with you know the little screws that come in for the very the one that I used this the two one on top of another one I did have to get a little extra bigger screw in there uh, but that's something that you can you know look around in what you have or buy them at your local uh, mm, you know hardware store so I hope you do like it and I'm gonna take a lot of pictures I'll show you the back this is all grunge paper that I uh, emboss with my gear embossing plate which I put the same uh, grunge paper over this and I put it over chipboard so it kind of gave that a 3d um, effect so Daisy I do hope you hope you know you um, have liked this and I'm gonna go ahead and load up the picture so you guys can enjoy it and uh, take care leave me a message or a question okay and I'll get back with you soon thanks a lot bye bye